Welcome to the Using SQL tutorial from MarkLogic University. To follow along with this tutorial, you'll need to download and install MarkLogic. Download the sample data and follow installation instructions by going to github.com slash marklogicuniversity slash marklogic9. Download and unarchive or clone the repository. Go to the MarkLogic9 repository directory then go to the Data Integration subdirectory. Under Data Integration, go to Using SQL and follow the README file for instructions on setting up your environment and next steps to follow. In this video, you will use templates for SQL, learn about using ODBC, and learn about utilizing MarkLogic's ML SQL tool. MarkLogic is a NoSQL database but the NO stands for not only. SQL can be used with MarkLogic for applications that only communicate over ODBC, or perhaps for reports or other data searches to take advantage of certain user skills. Template-driven extraction, abbreviated as TDE, provides a relational lens of content in a MarkLogic database. Using SQL in MarkLogic is a three-phase process. First, create TDE templates to expose MarkLogic content as SQL views. After creating and storing the templates, your content is indexed and the templates populate MarkLogic's row index. SQL can then be used in MarkLogic in several ways. Write SQL queries using Query Console. Call the Optic API for MarkLogic applications. Use MarkLogic's MLSQL tool. Finally, if desired, connect to MarkLogic databases with ODBC. In template-driven extraction using TDE video, we created a template to query some European football player data using SQL. The created template was loaded into the schema database defined for this content database. With the data extracted to the row index, we are now able to run SQL queries against the player data. This query finds player names, jersey numbers, and birth dates. The dates are formatted using a built-in MarkLogic function. MarkLogic can combine SQL with MarkLogic functions for more powerful searches. Similar to how we added the player template, we're creating a template to query team names, IDs, and values. Using some best practices with template-driven extraction, we're going to validate the template first, and then we're going to use tde.templateinsert to insert the template. This will automatically insert the template into the schema database defined by this content database of documents. This SQL does a join on the team ID value stored with the players and the team ID value stored with the teams. We will find the count of players by team grouping the results by team name and sorting by count of player names in descending order. To avoid returning unexpectedly large amounts of data from a possibly massive database, it's a best practice to limit your results. This SQL selects team names, the sum of the player's market values, and team values. The results are going to be grouped by team names where the sum of the player's values is less than the team's value. And of course, we're putting a limit on here as a best practice. After relational views have been created, MarkLogic can then be used as an ODBC data source. This is a three-step process. First, create an ODBC application server for the database corresponding to the graded TDE template views. Next, install MarkLogic's ODBC driver on the computer that will need the ODBC data source. MarkLogic's ODBC drivers come in both 32-bit and 64-bit, so it's important to install the correct driver. Finally, create a MarkLogic data source using the appropriate ODBC administration tool. On Windows, ODBC Administration is usually found in Control Panel under Administration Tools. In MarkLogic, 
We have created an ODBC application server for our TDE database. We're using the default PostgreSQL port of 5432. We have already installed and configured the MarkLogic ODBC driver. For the purposes of this tutorial, we are using the Linux ODBC driver. MarkLogic offers Linux ODBC drivers and also Windows 32-bit and 64-bit ODBC drivers. We will verify the ODBC connection by using ISQL that was installed with Unix ODBC. The MarkLogic SQL represents the default name of the ODBC data source after one has been created. See the SQL Data Modeling Guide on docs.marklogic.com for more information on installing ODBC with MarkLogic on both Linux and Windows platforms. The connection succeeded. We can now run a simple SQL query to do a final test. Installing MarkLogic's ODBC driver also installs MarkLogic's MLSQL command line utility. Any MarkLogic user that has the SQL-execution role can use MLSQL. The utility does not have to be run from the MarkLogic server and is supported on both Windows and Linux platforms. On Windows, it is installed at program files, backslash MarkLogic, backslash mlsql.exe. On Linux, it's installed in slash opt, slash marklogic, slash bin, slash mlsql. To run the utility, enter mlsql dash h and the hostname of the marklogic server that has the ODBC app server dash p followed by the port number the application server is listening on dash u and a username that has not only the SQL execution role, but also permission to interact with the content in the database. Enter the password for the user, and now we can execute SQL queries on the content database for the data that have TDE templates. The semicolon terminates a SQL command in MLSQL. For more information on template-driven extraction and using SQL, please visit the MarkLogic documentation at docs.marklogic.com. Under Release Notes, see new features in MarkLogic 9, Template-Driven Extraction, and in the Application Developer's Guide, Template-Driven Extraction. For more information regarding MarkLogic and SQL, visit the Release Notes, New Features in MarkLogic 9, SQL Enhancements, and also, under Other Reference Guides, the SQL Data Modeling Guide. In this episode, you learned about creating TDE templates for SQL, using SQL in MarkLogic's Query Console, configuring MarkLogic as an ODBC data source, and using MarkLogic's MLSQL tool. To get MarkLogic, download from developer.marklogic.com. The examples from this episode are available for MarkLogic University's GitHub repository at github.com slash marklogicuniversity. Get more training by visiting marklogic.com slash training. Also, a complete selection of on-demand topics is available at mlu.marklogic.com slash on-demand. Or, download the MarkLogic mobile app available on both the Apple App Store, and Google Play. And don't forget to show off what you've learned. Add MarkLogic as a skill on your LinkedIn profile today. Thank you for watching this MarkLogic University On Demand tutorial.